Thank you for the introduction and welcome everyone. Today I will talk about web scraping with Arthrix. During our training here at the data school, we had many projects which involved scraping websites. Although there had been ways to do this in Arthrix, I always miss the tool dedicated to the task. I am proud to say that I created a tool which makes web scraping easier. For those who are new to the topic, I will introduce the idea of web scraping, then I will mention a few different techniques, but this session is mostly about expat expressions and how to use a new tool I created called expat parser. So, what is web scraping? Web scraping is uh, downloading the source code of a website, separating the data from the code, and saving it in a well-organized format. It, uh, it can be a file or a database, so we can access it later easily. Before this tool, if you wanted to extract data from a website, you most probably had to use regular expressions. You could also have used the Python tool. There are several Python libraries to pull that out of HTML and XML files like Scrapy, Beautiful Soup, LXML. However, this method requires the knowledge of Python and those libraries. But now there is another tool available for you, the export parser. When I created the tool, I decided to use LXML Python package in the background. From the above Python packages, this is the only one which can work with XPath expressions. But why did I choose XPath in the first place and what is it? XPath is short for XML path language. It can be used to navigate through elements and attributes in an XML document. Because HTML uses the same structure and principles as XML, it can also be used to select elements in a website. XPath uses path expressions to select nodes or node sets in an XML document, which look very much like the expressions you see when you work with a computer file system. The language is easy to learn and well documented. That's why I thought it would be great to use it to create a parser tool. Let me demonstrate on Alteryx's weekly challenge page how the XPath parser tool works. On this page Alteryx publishes a new challenge every week. This is a good place to practice if you want to sharpen your Alteryx skills by the way. We find a welcome message on the top three tables, and we are interested in this third table with the challenges. So let's start by downloading the, downloading the website with the download tool in Autorix. I bring in a text input tool for the URL. And oh, good, let's see what's happening. So the download tool downloaded the source code of the data of the website. From this, we really only need the table, the content of the table. So, let me bring in the export parser tool. At the end of this session, I will share the link where you can find and download the tool from. And I will show you now how you configure the tool. So on the left here, 
a configuration window, you can find three parameters. The first one is the source field. It's the input field where the tool will pull the data from. And then the next one where you put the export expression to select the element on the web page you are interested in. And the third parameter is to give a name to the output field. If you leave it empty, the default name will be export result. Below the parameters, I included some usage examples and a couple of websites where you can learn more about export expressions. Okay, now let's start the fun. So we are interested in the third table of the page. Oh, by the way, I recommend using Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome browsers. They allow the user to access the export expression of an element on the page. So first, right click on the content of the page I'm interested in and select inspect element. It opens up the inspector window where you can see the source code of the website. When you hover the mouse over an element, it highlights it on the page, so it's easy to find the content you are interested in. This is the table we want, right? This here. So we right click on that, select copy, copy export. Now we go back to Alteryx and paste it here. When we run now, uh, I put a browser tool here first. Oops. Ah, yeah, we need the input field. All right, let's run it. Now you see the XPath result. This is the new field. Only contains the table the source code of the table. Now, we need the content of every TR tag in a separate row. So how do we do that? See, the double sash says find all. So let's find all TR tags within the table. Run this now. And we get all the rows. Okay. Now let's go back to the page. See, within a TR tag, there are one, two, three, four td tags. These are the columns. So we need the first column for the challenge number. In the second column, there is the link to the challenge and also the name of the challenge. And in the third one, there is the level, the difficulty. And in the fourth column, the subject. Okay, so how do we do that? So let's go back to Arthrix now. Bring in another, another parser tool. And this time the source field will be the result of the previous XPath tool. So what will be the XPath expression? So within every TR tag, we want to find the first TD tags. So you select the first element by writing the number in square brackets. So first TD. And we also need a selector, the text selector, because we don't want the whole element, we just want the text in the element. So then we say text. 
and another browse tool. And let's see the result. And the number, oh, the number is there in this one. Okay, so let's change this to the name of this field to challenge number. Run again. By the way, I think, okay. Yes, the so challenge number, we have it. Now the next thing we want, Let's go back to the web page. Is the challenge name? Okay, so how do we get that? Let's see. So challenge name is in the second TD tag within an A element. So this is the name. So then we go back and we say we need another tool and the source field will be again export result the name of the new field will be challenge name and the expression is double slash td which is the colon the second colon and the a tag within that and inside the a tag we need the text and let's see what we've got there we go the name of the challenge now we just have to repeat this with um, the third what will be the third level of difficulty. Alright, next part result level and this time third text. And let's bring in another one. For the subject. Again, subject TD for the fourth column text. All right. There we go. Challenge number, challenge name, level. Hmm, what's wrong with the level? Uh huh, it's not TD, TR, it's TD. Okay. Yes, we've got everything except we also wanted the link to the challenge. So how do we get the link? Let's bring in another tool again. And URL. So if you go down here, it has this one here. The href of all anchors. So what we need is td. It was the second column slash a slash at href. It's done. So now you may ask why is that the first row is full of nulls? It's because the content we were asking for, we said we wanted the TD tags 
and the text within the TV text. But here, the content is not directly within the TV text, so it's read in another strong tag. So that's why it, it didn't find anything in the TV tag. So what I would now do, I would just um, filter out the nodes. It could be any of them. Number is not null. And we don't need the original data. You had all the download node is And it's all done. Passed out. Ready to be saved into a nice file. If you like the tool and want to download it, you can find the link in the blog post I published about it on the Data School website. Just search for XPath, and um, this is the article parsing HTML easier. Um, in the blog post, you will uh, you can learn more about how it was created uh, with the Python SDK. And uh, on the bottom of the page, you will find the link to the installer. And also, you can download an example workflow to demonstrate how to use the tool. Um, I hope I could show you something interesting today and make your future web scraping easier. And now we will do some Q&As. If you have any questions, I will try to answer it. Thank you for joining us this afternoon.